Zub, this is Troak, and welcome to another episode of Greenlight It, a video where I've sifted through the list of games on Steam Greenlight and tried to show you the games that are worth your upvote. The game I found today is Y3030, or called Year 3030. It's an action space simulator set in the year 3030. And the basic premise of it is, is that you have your own spacecraft, you get to design it by scavenging up items that you'll find out in the world. Uh, you will obviously get attacked by space pirates and other factions. So during these fights, you will be able to find things that are useful to you, such as weapons or armor, or anything that might help you upgrade your ship or anything else like that. It uh, standardly plays like what you would expect to see probably in a space simulator. You have a form of a main base or a space station that you work on where you can uh, upgrade your actual systems or refuel slash get more O2 because obviously the O2 in your fuel is not 100% uh, constantly there. It's not replenishable. You do have to come back to base to actually refill. So it does make a good mechanic of uh, you can't push out too far if you're incapable of going there. You always have to think about do I have enough fuel to get back and also do I have enough oxygen to get back. Otherwise, obviously, if you lose one or the other, you're either stranded or dead. The game is going to be working a little bit different or a little bit more different than I've seen in other space simulators like uh, the X franchise, for example, where... It's really working on the idea of Newton's laws, or the three Newton's laws of gravity. Where, for example, in a vacuum, if one thing hits another, they'll obviously collide and bounce off in different areas. And things like, obviously, if any force is placed on an object, it will keep going until it hits something that can stop it. So, the idea is going to be much more movement that seems very similar to what you would see in space you're going to have movement which is going to be more thruster based rather than just simply move left move right and as soon as you let go of the key you somehow stop or you know counter thrusters flow up you're going to probably have to control the counter thrusters and things like that so it's going to be much more of a simulator based in terms of that it also is going to be working in the laws of physics a little bit more than some that have been out there. Uh, like I said, there's obviously scavenging and salvaging of equipment uh, that you can use. This obviously helps you upgrade your ship as well as probably repair your ship because obviously you're going to take some damage. Uh, it has a fully customizable system that's going to be based on energy, the weight, the cohesiveness, and structural integrity. So it's going to depend upon things like if you have a certain weapon that might... Uh, use too much energy that you can't move too easily then obviously it's going to be a problem uh, obviously if it's also too heavy it's go you're going to more sway to that one side so things like that are going to uh, affect your ship probably a lot more and that you just can't uh, willingly put anything everywhere even though they do state that as long as you've got a spot available on your ship to place something you could place it but you do have to take into account things like how heavy is it is, how how heavy it is, how much energy is it going to use, things like that. Um, looks like that you're able to dictate things like uh, whether you use heavy armor or light armor, and things like energy generation and um, where your energy is going to go. Uh, they do state here that if you have heavily heavier heavier armor, sorry that uh, you're obviously going to need to put more energy into the generators, into your engines, to actually um, move your actual ship. Whether or not, and then if you don't have that, and you just put more power into your weapons, sure, you're going to hit hard, but you're going to basically be as killable as a fly. It's going to be very, very easy to hit you when you get hit, if you get hit. Uh, the one big thing that I think this game has going for it and something I haven't seen in a lot of simulators is multiplayer. Now they're stating here that you are going to have things like capital ships and where you have one person controlling the capital ship and then you're gonna have other people say friends or people of a, a 
a group of something like that, a clan or something like that, are going to be able to sort of shoot out of the hangar bay of the capital ship and then go and swarm an enemy. So, looks like they're trying to promote the idea of very similar to uh, EVE, where you kind of have corporations. That means then a bunch of guys just get together and have ships, and some people have bigger ships than others, and some have lighter ships. They could put in things like, uh, obviously with a capital ship, you could have repairing systems to it as well, um, depending upon the capital ship that you're actually ha using. You know, just might not be just a standard frigate, it might be something like a shipyard, you know, a movable shipyard or something like that. This also means that they could possibly be bringing in... Um, weapons or systems or even sorry ships that are more utility based miners because they do state on the website uh, y3030.com that there is asteroid mining in the game so you could possibly have utility ships that maybe go off to a mining um, an asteroid field that's close by to a fight and then bring it back to the capital ship which then you know, those minerals could then be used to, say, repair ships before you die, and things like that. The graphics look uh, pretty good so far. Um, they have stated that the graphics that they're showing are from a build that was for the consoles, so obviously things like dynamic lighting and shadowing and that sort of uh, stuff doesn't uh, a present here while the PC version that they are developing at the moment does have it and it looks a lot better but I do believe that there are some meshing that does need a little bit of work on it from the images that I saw so if they've kept those I hope they've you know reworked those the ships themselves look pretty good I have to admit they're very detailed in terms of their models and the materials or the mineral meshes and materials that they use on the um, 